Hello, hello, hello! My name is Shancy and welcome to my YouTube channel. On this channel I do everyday easy makeup looks and I also do size 16 fashion videos. In today's video I wanted to recreate a beautiful, simple, very spring look inspired by Katie Jane Hughes. This is a look that she did on Kate Bosworth. And I mean, don't we all want to look like Kate Bosworth? I'm not going to use the same products, but I'm just going to emulate what I see here. So I'm going to use like a pink kind of eyeshadow with a, a red orangey kind of burnt lip. Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to try a weird technique that I have been seeing on TikTok, where there's this like one girl that's like, oh, change the way you do your skincare routine. So essentially, you moisturize, then you're supposed to wear powder, then primer, then your foundation, etc. So I'm going to try this. Um, I never wear setting powder. I don't even know if I need it. Usually I find I have dry skin so I don't even wear it, you know what I mean? Anyways, it's an interesting concept because it's almost like you're filling in the base of the skin first. So let's see if it works. As a primer today, I'm going to use Embryolis. It's just like a more of like a moisturizer because I'm actually going to keep it quite quite light light of foundation I mean I'm just looking like if the powder is caking you know what I mean such a weird order <laughs> okay so I'm gonna do like a spot concealing kind of thing and I'm using my in maquillage concealer and I think I'm gonna add a bit of future dew in here because I kind of want it to be dewy I'll just grab this JH08 um, dual fiber brush Start working away. I'm really gonna try to focus on getting that like pale skin look. Cause I usually, I feel like I cheat when I do the bronze look. But it's like, how do you make pale look good, you know? I feel like Katie Jane Hughes, she is a goddess. She definitely knows how to make pale look good. And not just pale, but like natural skin. Ooh, this is a good combo. I like it. Just gonna add a little bit more concealer to my little concoction back here. So I didn't really plan this, but if you want to see more videos about in maquillage, I did a review and I can link it. And I did a glossier little haul which included the, the future do. So I'll link it there somewhere for you. This is also my first time like cutting the product with future do. It's like really glossy. It's almost like a a uh, top coat blot gloss for your face but I feel like it's giving me that like oily skin look that I want <laughs> I'm saying oily but it's more like dewy another thing I find interesting is like every time I wear very little makeup that's when I find people compliment me the most on my makeup I feel like because it's so dewy, I need to like pat down this little combination because I don't want it to move. For cheeks, I'm going to go in with this cream blush from Nude Sticks called In the Nude. And Nudies is, I guess, the line. Go in a bit heavier. Okay, 
can also run it over your nose just for a little bit less of a pale face. But it's like an on purpose thing, if that makes sense. Okay, now I'm grabbing my NARS concealer and I just want to apply a tiny bit on my eyelid because I really want that pink to pop. I have to say not a lot of concealers let you kind of use it as an as an eye primer base but this NARS one it does not budge it doesn't move and it doesn't crease uh, but the Il Maquillage concealer I can't wear it on my eyelids because it's it stays like too wet it moves too much Go in lightly with a super light pink dusting. There's a little kind of fuchsia pink out there too, I'll just add. I'm going to take this Wonder Brow Define and Highlight pencil, which is a really fantastic pencil. So it's basically like a little highlighter in a pencil format. Pop that in the inner corner. I really like the control that you get with this thing. So if you want to, you can also cut your eyebrows, but I don't do that. complete that sickly look you just put some on the bottom of your lashes don't use that brush it hurts this boxy charm eyeshadow palette has served me really well it has a stunning really shimmery champagne color and I'm just gonna pop my finger on there and just use it as like a center lid popping moment Yeah, it's like a really powerful shimmery color. And now I'm going to pack on the mascara. I'll see you in about half an hour. Do I look like Kate Bosworth yet? Okay, I want to just bronze my cheeks just a bit. I'm using this Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Maybe that was a little too heavy. But I'm going to try to use it more as like a contour. Otherwise I'll lose that like pale skin that I'm trying to go for. You know that sickly social isolation kind of look. I like social isolation, but make it spring. Oh, this is so much better. These brushes are way better for buffing. Yeah, it's better. <clears throat> oh my god, I have like OCD. I'm literally cleaning while filming. It's like, just do it later. But after, I don't want it to be a mess. You know what I mean? For my lipstick today, I'm using Dangerous, Dangerous by MAC. It is a stunning red-orange lipstick. It's 
the orange red lipstick of my dreams and I also forgot I owned it. I'm actually going to layer it with Revlon So Lit because I actually want it to pull a bit more red. I'm just going to grab a pencil. So I have this weird curse with all the Revlon products that get sent to me. Anytime I really, really like it, it ends up breaking or I drop it. There's a gorgeous pink blush that I can't even find anymore, but it's a stunning color and I dropped it. They sent me another one. Dropped it again. This red lipstick, same thing. The whole thing just kind of split apart. Tried to fuse it the best I could. I'm using like a red eyeshadow. From the James Charles palette. I want to see if it'll help me diffuse the end. While also setting the lipstick. Because I didn't put a primer here but my lips tend to feather very easily. Okay, I think that's like enough fussing around. I wish this little sit would cover a little bit better. I always love a good pink-red combo, whether it's in an outfit, makeup, I just find it such a good, good clash, like a good Valentine's Day clash. All right, guys, well, there you go. There's the finished look. Let's see, drum roll, please. How did we do? Do I look like Kate Bosworth? I don't have the eye thing like she does. I'd wear this. So that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys are taking care of yourself, staying inside, staying sane. This video hopefully does that to you. And again, thanks so much for watching. I hope you subscribe to my channel. Uh, I usually do relaxing makeup videos. I've been told my voice is relaxing. And anyways, it's just uh, fun to make these videos. So thank you so much for being here and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.